I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary and I'm here today with one of our new pre-owned pieces of inventory. This one is, uh, is a pretty special car. It's a 2019 Targa 4, 911 Targa 4. Um, and this one was just recently traded in, um, actually traded in early uh, because the customers was ordering in 2021 uh, 911 Targa. So they were thrilled with the car. They just uh, decided to get a newer one. Um, so the Targa, first of all, Targa 4 in general, um, you can get the Targa in a couple of different kind of variations. They're all all-wheel drive though, so you can have a Targa 4, uh, 4S, uh, certain years a Targa 4 GTS. Uh, this one is just the regular Targa 4, so that means uh, in this year it uses a 3-liter flat 6-cylinder engine which is turbocharged to 370 horsepower. Uh, I owned a 911 uh, quite similar to this, it was the Coupe, but the same engine and all-wheel drive as well. Uh, and I found it was plenty of power, the car always feels super quick, uh, and the turbo chargers just give you a lot more low-end torque uh, than you used to get on the engine uh, that they used before this one. It was naturally aspirated. It was still a good motor, but you really had to rev it way up uh, before it would actually make any decent torque, um, whereas this one you've got a lot more usable low-end torque, so I much prefer driving this one. And then the Targa, of course, uh, is all about the, the roof, right? That's the difference between a Carrera versus a Targa. Uh, so you can get the Carrera in the full cabriolet where, you know, the whole top folds and, uh, you know, that's that's great if you want that open air experience. Uh, you can't really beat it. But the Targa is kind of a neat middle ground that personally I prefer because with, with the cabriolet, you have a very different profile on the car, right? Whereas with the Targa, um, it actually ends up very similar to the Coupe because it has this very cool kind of glass rear port Portion. And on these newer Targas, uh, the 991s and uh, and onward, um, they're kind of recreating this Targa uh, roll bar from uh, from the earliest uh, open top 911. So I love the retro look, very very cool. And you keep that sportier kind of profile. Um, and then it's it's quite quite a neat thing to to watch. So this big glass part will you know op go back, and then these two pieces here. I don't know how well you can see, but kind of from that section go up, and then the roof. Um, all power just comes up over there and rests right on top of, uh, of your head. And while it is fabric covered, it's actually a metal piece, it's magnesium on there. So it's quite quite robust and uh, makes the seal really excellent. It's it's uh, definitely a, a you know an open top car that you can drive through the winter if you want to. The convertibles are actually, the regular cabriolets are a lot better for that nowadays as well than they used to be. Uh, but the Targas are just that much better. So you get a really cool retro look uh, and a little bit more of a more of a hard top convertible experience, I would say, in terms of, you know, just a little bit more year round uh, utility. So um, that's the cars in general. Let's talk about this one in particular. So this is night blue metallic, uh, really neat color. It uh, It's one that varies quite a bit depending the light that it's in. So it's a very, very dark blue. If it's, you know, overcast outside, it looks basically black, or at night it's going to look close to black. But then when it's in the sunlight, the blue really, really comes out. It's very metallic, so it really sparkles in the light. Uh, quite, quite the duality uh, with this color. I like it quite a bit, and it's been quite popular. Uh, and then the wheels, these are the 20 inch Carrera S wheel. So the standard wheel on this one would have been a 19 inch customer upgraded it to these 20s uh, which look great and then did the uh, colored center caps uh, the crests in the in the center of the wheel as well a nice little touch uh, and then your headlights are at the very top level these are the LEDs so you have um, with that their dynamic they'll turn with a steering wheel and they'll look further down the road as you increase your speed and they have the auto high beam assistant as well so you can leave your high beams on and as it sees lights coming the other way it'll turn them off so really great lighting system there and then uh, sticking with the outside it also has the sport design side mirror so these uh, kind of spokes here where it connects to the uh, to the vehicle are painted and a little bit more stylized compared to the regular mirror which would just be a solid piece and then it's just unpainted plastic. So this is a little bit uh, of a more elegant look. Uh, you may not be able to immediately spot the difference, but uh, it does look pretty nice. And then as well, as is the case oftentimes when you're buying the pre-owned vehicle, you get a little bit of extra value in that the previous customer uh, wrapped the full front in paint protection film. So right up to the top of the hood, the front fender, the front bumper, that's all wrapped. So is the side mirror here. So uh, you don't have to worry about rock chips and stuff like that. It's already protected for you. Uh, so let's move on then to the inside of the car. This one has the black standard interior. Uh, as I've said many times, it's our most popular interior by far and away. Um, 
And then the seats in this one, uh, it's the 14-way seat, so that gains you the thigh extension and the lumbar support, uh, as well as seat memory. The base seat wouldn't have any of those things. And they did the Porsche Crest embossed in the headrest, which I really like. Subtle touch, but I think worthwhile. Uh, and then really, I guess I'm kind of bearing the lead here, but the, the particularly unique thing about this example is the fact that it has the seven-speed manual transmission. Uh, rare enough on any 911, but even more so on the open-top cars, you just don't see uh, the manual selected very often. So it's really cool to see this combination of the Targa with that manual. Uh, I mentioned I drove a similar car myself a couple of years ago. Um, I had the manual too, and it just really elevates your experience and your kind of engagement factor. Um, it's an awesome transmission, uh, and it just yeah makes you feel a little bit more one with the car than you get with the PDK. Now the PDK is exceptional, it's faster and it's more efficient and it's better in all these ways, it's maybe more convenient, uh, but you just can't beat the manual for really feeling again part of that experience. Um, and then augmenting that in this one is the Sport Chrono package. So you get the um, drive mode selector on the steering wheel with that, so you can rotate the little switch uh, from normal where it'll start as default uh, over to sport mode where you'll get sharper throttle response uh, and um, with a PDK it shifts later and faster. Obviously with a manual it doesn't do that because you're shifting yourself, but what you gain is the option for uh, rev match on the downshift. So if you're in Sport or Sport Plus and you gear down, it'll automatically uh, just match that gear for you perfectly. Now, if you want to still do that yourself, you can. If you put any kind of input onto the throttle uh, when, when you've got the clutch in, it'll deactivate that feature. But I have found when, uh, when you start using it, it is exceptional. It works so well. Um, I find myself using it all, all the time because it just works, works that well. Um, but some other content as well. Um, heated and cooled seats are here. Uh, it does have the premium plus package so that entails the seat upgrade I mentioned earlier, the heated and ventilated seats, the entry and drive so you just touch the door handle to unlock and turn the ignition switch inside the car uh, without having to plug your keys into the dash. Uh, you also get the uh, Bose audio system in this one. Uh, what have I missed here? Um, oh, the blind spot warning as well so it'll light up uh, on the side here if somebody's in your blind spot and if you signal while they're there then it'll flash to draw your attention a little bit more. And then as well, so this one is obviously a pre-owned car, but uh, beyond that, it's a Porsche approved certified pre-owned. So that means that it gets uh, a warranty extension. So from brand new, this car would have had four years or 80,000 kilometers of coverage. Uh, that gets extended now to six years and unlimited kilometers. So this one uh, was originally purchased February 20th of 2019. So you have six years from that date, so till February of 2025, and unlimited kilometers of uh, comprehensive Porsche warranty coverage. So pretty, pretty awesome there. Um, and the kilometers on it now, I don't know if I mentioned, uh, just over 10,000. Yeah, 10,000, about 250. So not, uh, not used too much. Plenty of life left in it and plenty of warranty too, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, just so, so rare to see a Targa with a manual. So this is a unique example. Uh, if you do like it and you want to come down and pay us a visit, please do. We'd be happy to uh, go over the car in a little bit more depth and uh, take it for a test drive. If this one doesn't work for you, keep scrolling through our inventory. We've got a great inventory of pre-owned sports cars right now. So I'm sure you can find the right one. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.